The game has beer. Oh, yes, indeed. It's honestly, uh, I don't have enough good things to say about this. I am a little bit sad I don't play this enough because uh, it's, it's not underrated. If it's popular in sort of Steam rankings and stuff and has a player base, it's popular, but it, it's always enjoyable. It's very rare that you would play this game and be bored or annoyed or just not have a good time. It, it's very difficult to not enjoy Deep Rock. So here we go. Forgive me if it's a little bit intense. We're mining, we're collecting stuff. I'm not sure on the deep dives, but I'm sure Kana will fill me in if I miss anything. Basically, three chain missions together. But we keep health and we keep ammo. So there's a bit of ammo conservation, I'm feeling. Health conservation. Basically, end gamey kind of stuff here. Aliens will be constantly after us. I'm going to pet the loot bug. New feature. <laughs> Uh, and I'm a gunner. There's, there's four different classes, uh, for those not familiar with this game. Uh, engineer, Scout, Driller and Gunner. I'm the gunner. Uh, it's on the tin, so to, so to speak. It does what it says on the tin. A phrase Mr. Simo hates ferociously. <laughs> and uh, we're just uh, going, uh, going along with it, trying to stay alive. Gather as much nitro as we can, which is the red, the red gem, which means ammo that we will collect. I'll explain along the way for those that don't know what's going on. Trying to not stray too far. It's a very teamwork oriented game. Oh, hello. This is Glyphid Byers. And hello, Raphael. And hello, Mighty Warrior. How are you? Forgive me if things get intense, like I said a moment ago. It's, it's a very in your face kind of game. But a good one nonetheless. Yes. Game's running very well as well. Ah, oh, little looty boy. Nah, <laughs> I'd love that they've added that feature. Uh, good developer is Ghost Ship Games as well. Sort of uh, very attentive on social media and stuff. Very, uh, very enjoyable to sort of uh, see developers like that in this day and age. Uh, the maps are procedurally generated caves, uh, different biomes and whatnot. Don't know where we're going to have to go. I'm going to assume a zip line here. That's what the gunner can do. Uh, first stream I watched, found Simo out through the noise of YouTube's Love the Chill Vibe. Oh no, I've been barnacled. <laughs> oh, well, thanks for coming by, Raphael. Barnacle Bill. Barnacle Bill, yes indeed. Oh, it's all kicking off here. Kick out the auto cannon. Yeah, it's good to be playing with Kana. Kana was one of my original friends from this game. It's, it's, well, it's well, cave leeches, of course. Basically, if I get hit by a cave leech and no one's around to shoot it, I go down, basically. They missed you, that's all. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm back for one night only, and hopefully a few more nights as well, because this is some good shit. Blow them, all to Blow them all to hell, man. We've got the little jellyfish boys that sap our shields. Ah, there's a healer there. Oh, fuck. I might be a little bit rusty, Kana, forgive me. But uh, your experience is forever. It pretty much is, Raphael. It's... Left for Dead and Minecraft, voxel-based caves, we have to mine stuff. Different enemy types, so yeah, I suppose it is quite roguelike-y. This particular mode is a deep dive, so we've got three chained missions together. Which is going to be quite tough, you can see the drillers drilled up here. So we've got to collect eggs and recover a black box. Is this kind of like the salvage operation thing, Kana? Would this trigger a horde? Yeah. Oh fuck. Oh, so it's a mashup of game modes. Oh, interesting. The game looks very clear on my monitor as well. Better than my old ultra wide. Very crisp. Lovely. Oh, I'm a little bit stuck here. Hang on. So it's all voxel based. Everyone has a pickaxe. It's all dwarfy dwarfy. Got to use my zip line to scum uh, the aliens a little bit. If I could be so bold. How's the audio levels, by the way, folks? It's not too loud, is it? It's not sort of eating up my voice for those on the stream. Oh, a gooba man, no, no, no. If, if Noita had... If Noita had guns and dwarfs, eh? We're all good. We're waiting for this to go. Go up on the old bar here. You can, you can uh, throw glow torches as well sort of light up the area. The scout has shootable sort of light sources, so every class has got a 
considered thing. It's, it's really, really good. I've got cluster grenades. Boom. I think I've got cluster grenades on my gunner. I'd be remiss if I didn't. Almost there. 75%. Make sure we're in the little zone here, this green zone. Else it'll go very slow. And everyone will shout at me for being a stupid noob. There we go. Get it done. So if you like Left 4 Dead, this will be the game for you. Put it that way. And a little bit of mining on the side. With a great sort of synthwave soundtrack as well for those that like that stuff. Not that I imagine you'd be hearing it. <laughs> Over all the, all the carnage. Ooh. Careful now. Doing alright for health and that. Where are the boys going? There's drillers there, scouts there. We're all together. It's... Uh, one thing I will say about this, when you play online especially, you know how useless people can be on multiplayer games, but Deep Rock has to be the most consistently, uh, have the most consistently teamwork-oriented people. It's, it's kind of designed that way. If you was to go off by yourself, you, you, you'd just get killed. you literally have to work together. It, it's, there is no room for lone wolfing. I mean, a scout might run off, but he's going to quickly get killed and swamped, so... It, really works. The synergy is fantastic. Ah, it's one of those new ones, Kana, the oppressor. Oh, shit. Just like the normal ones, make it in the ass. Oh, wow, okay then. So, one of the bigger enemies here, the Glyphid Oppressor. Basically, you shoot him in the bum. Stick it up his bum. See a very visible weak spot. Ah, yeah. Oh, Kana, the... I didn't see a hazard selection. Is it... Indeed. Is it standard? It starts, it's randomized. It starts between one and two. The second one is three or four, and the last one is four or five. Ooh, wow. That, uh, how the game works, folks, is a mission's difficulty can be set when you host it, but it's set in stone for a deep dive, so it's going to get progressively harder. Three missions tagged together. Now is easy. It will not stay that way. Ooh, there we go. Clifford little boy there. Pet the loot bug before we blow him up. Oh, careful, gassy boy. Loot bug drops uh, various things, by the way. Which uh, is the whole point of this game as well. Uh, where is Molly? Molly is our... I assume Molly is with us, Kane, alright? Oh, yes. Yeah, so you pick up gems along the way. It all gets deposited into the team depository. Uh, that can be used for... Uh, Nitra is ammo basically and that can be used for calling in a supply drop and uh, basically the other things you collect is, is is for cosmetics oh what have you boys gotten down there what have I missed this is the scanner ah there you go I gotcha so stick with the team we'll do well we're currently hunting eggs at the minute we've already gotten the black box so this uh, particular game mode the deep dive has multiple objectives which is uh, really quite cool if you like this, you should play Void Bastards. And hello, Brain Buster. Void Bastards, I've never heard of that. What on earth is that? There was another game, actually, that my group of friends suggested. Uh, I think it was GTFO or something. It was quite expensive, though, so we didn't get it. Oh, kind of like the same shtick, you know? Oh, shit. Oh, early reload there. I'm just going to stand put. As the gunner, not only can I put down zip lines, I can also put down shields uh, when the going gets tough. Whoa, that is a lot of boys. Get a grenade out. Nice. I see a Glyphid Warden, which is which is a healer. Why now resupply? Oh dear. <laughs> I take it that's a little bit early, eh, Kana? Yeah, wait a little I would assume that Nitra is very limited here in this particular game mode. Again, it's randomized, so you never know if you're going to encounter any or a lot. Yeah, of course. Well, I'm going to need some ammo if we're resupplying. Oh, Doggius, with a Twitch Prime sub. <laughs> Thank you, man. I, uh. Oh, I mean, could you get the trumpet, please, Mrs. Simo? Sorry, it's a bit of a very busy game mode, but thank you, Doggius. Hope you are well. And do let me know if the audio levels are fine here. It's a very cathartic game, so understandable. 
Right, I'll get you a very quick trumpet wave, a trumpet waggle. We'll waggle the trumpet, Mrs. Simo. Get it, get it on screen. Hey, <laughs> thank you, doggies. Right, I must stick with the team. Thank you for your support. Oh, there's another Glyphid Warden. It's all kicking off here. Oh, God almighty. No Glyphid boys allowed. Oof, in the face. It's a rogue style shooter where you're forced to go to derelict and infested spaceships in search of supplies. It's comic book style. Cell shaders. Uh, cell shaded and, and that has quintessential British humour. Oh, very nice. Put it in if you're in the Discord, mate. I do assume you are, Ash, of course. Uh, put it in the old stream game suggestions. I always like to wish list things. Hello, buddy. You okay? Sorry, I'm in the middle of something, bud. No time for guessing. Go and see Mrs. Simo. Right. I'm all right. Come, come on in. Oh, 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 oh. Come on in. You come sit with me for a moment. Little clingy boy. We love you, buddy. He's a good boy. Hang on, let me cross my legs. Okay, there we go. He's fine. Oh, there we go. He just wants a cuddle. There we go. Good boy. All right, then. Yeah. Let's get to it, shall we? So we've got the boys mining nitra. I have got limited zip lines. I could place down, but in this cavern, who's in our scanner, pressing tab, we don't need to. And there is an egg, kind of behind us, actually. If I'm led to believe, there is a cavern very close. I think the driller's got it, though. Hang on. We can drill where we want. Ah, perfect. If you see this sort of viscera, that's where an egg's going. That is the Possibly the fourth egg here. Yeah, that will need to be deposited into Molly, the moving minecart. Ouch. Got to be careful because uh, health doesn't carry over here. Oh, shit. Goo Bomber, get him tagged just in case I can't kill him. He will drop slowing down goo on the floor. Really not nice. Oh, and there's a load of enemies coming. <laughs> shit. Just oh, open fire, man. There's a warden, which is the healer. There's a bunch of jellies. Get another grenade out. Jesus. Yeah, for those that like action, this is the game. Oof, if you want a bit of madness. A bit of randomness, a bit of procedurally generated levels. It's, it's It goes hand in hand. It really does. All right, then. No, no problem, Ash, mate. No problem at all. All right, then. I've got 11 nitra. Ah, so we've got a bit of nitro in the bank. You can see on the right there, the sort of team depository. Very small text, but as long as we've got 80 nitro, that's enough for a resupply. Ammo is very important, especially in this game mode. Oh, so we've done it all right. Interesting. So do we activate Molly, Kana? What's the sort of score? Um, taking a small look around for extra resource. Then we're gonna call. Oh, okay, so it's the same old thing, sort of find the extra stuff and. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, especially now with the health carrying over, I suppose people look for health. For everything. Ooh. There's bonus gems in this game for sort of uh, for your cosmetics. You use the gems you earn for unlocking stuff, basically. Yeah. Uniforms. None of it is game breaking or dirty microtransactions. It's all in game. It's all perfectly innocent. It's just a little bit of an incentive. You can sort of prestige your character as well, just to showcase your experience and time in the game. You'll see on the left there, we've got all got stars. You have bronze and silver and gold stars, obviously. That bronze meaning that you've played the game for a fair amount. You see a gold boy, and you know they've spent a good few hours, like uh, our good friend you step in. I'm noticing I'm alone, by the way, which uh, I'm going to follow Molly. It's the only thing with this game, if you don't really pay attention to the surroundings, especially where players can dig their own way, you'll get easily lost, so try and stick close. Got a couple of gems here, there we go. Right, where are the buys? There's the buys. Because the aliens will continue spawning. Uh, I do very much do believe so in this mode. So, better stick together. Ooh, oh, is that one of them... No, that's where we was, wasn't it? Uh, speaking of looking, I'll be, I'll be. I'm looking for more coffee. Hey. 
All right then, the game is running beautifully by the way, uh, a lot of optimization I feel. Not that the game is that demanding, but still, it feels good man, especially on a sort of 144 hertz monitor. Smooth. Hello there. <laughs> Rock and stone, man. I love this it game. This is... Old. Sorry, Kana. It never gets old. It never does, does it? I love this game, Ash. Uh, it's the first game I started streaming with. Uh, and that's how I got my start here on sort of the streaming platforms. It's a game I hold dear to my heart. And sadly, I wish there was more and more and more and more people loving this. Uh, the development team being perhaps bigger so they could pump up updates quicker. Although they update pretty... Bloody frequently, to be honest. That's not a dig on the developers. Just, I wish it was bigger. It's such a great game. It really is. Can't hear a word of what that guy's saying, by the way. I thought that was with Euro Trucker. I had my eye on it. I might try it out. We'll see what you think of the stream, mate. This is, like I said, the slightly harder difficulty game mode. But it's a fair representation of uh, how things look and play. The atmosphere, which is great, by the way. Uh, Hello Boomer, it's one of those games that are only really fun if you play with friends. Yeah, I mean even the public people, I, I said earlier Boomer, that this game specifically uh, always has very high percentage of people that know what they're doing. It, it's not like playing a game like Squad or something else that relies on teammates. Take Overwatch. <laughs> Don't play with public people in games like that, you're going to have a bad time. But this is very respectable in that regard. Like I said, the game is designed for teamwork. You've got to try really hard to be absolutely shite at this game. Ooh, and then there's Kana, but we'll leave it at that. You better watch your back. <laughs> yes, Kana joining me here as well, folks. Um, one of my early friends here on Twitch. Ooh, right, I'm going to chuck a willy nilly grenade down. Probably shouldn't, but fuck it. There is a glyphic bow on down there. So we are waiting for Molly to return. I do believe she has. And there we go. Part one done. So what do we get from a completed deep dive, Kana? I forget. Is it something to do with the modification thing? Uh, that as well. Cosmetics, cores, resources, and a lot of experience. Right. And of course, the blank matrix scores, which we can use in machine events. Right, and what are machine events, sorry? Uh, when you booted up the game, did you see the gun turret? The tower-like thing? Uh, not entirely sure, to be honest. What, in the space hub? And the start menu. Basically, there are just events which you insert the core in, and then the event starts. It varies from beating enemies with a pickaxe to just destroying a gun tower. All oh, right, now I've not seen that. We'll have a look after. But sorry, Kane, I just realised it's loading the screen. That's new. Ah, that's sick. That's really cool. Oh man. Hey, I wonder if those levels are just generic or. If they're the actual levels we were just in, that would be wishful thinking. But that would be cool. Uh, I love playing DRG in public. It's one of those where you know your role and you enter a team and you don't even have to say nothing else but X. That's it. That is it. It's yeah. It's 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 very cohesive. So ammo has been carried over. Oh god. So that's going to be real interesting. So what possible has has level we on now, Kana? Three. Three, four? Two, three, or four. Oh, man. There's no way of telling, honestly. Oh, wow. That's what I like about this game as well. It's a little bit random, you know. One game might be epic, one game might be absolutely difficult. It's really good. Don't ever want to see my ex again. I usually play Rainbow Six Siege and st uh, stream strategy games, Noita and Dead by Daylight. Ooh, very nice. I'm going to look for some place to zip wire. Because I am the gunner, that's what I can do. There's a little bit of uh, red sugar there, aka health. We're all good for the moment. Get a little bit of a cut down there just for full damage. As yes, there is full damage. 
Keep an eye on the boys. All quiet on the Western Front. Oh, we've got people not paying attention, Gainer. Mm, bits enthusiastic. But Whoa, I say, oh, there. A bit enthusiastic. Watch out for these hazards. There we go. How old am I? I'm 30, mate. I'm 30. My age goes with uh, the year until August 24th. And then it'll be plus one. So 2020 equals me being 30 30. Oh, I'll give it a follow. Mutant. Hello there. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, happy Friday, everyone. Take a little bit of health damage here on this deep dive. Where are the boys? Stick together. 30 years young, absolutely. <laughs> you know it. Oh, shit. Am I going up the wrong way here? Ooh, careful now. Jesus. I'm absolutely shredded already. Fucking hell. And that was just a few Glyphid boys. I might have to go back for their health. If I can remember where it was. It was back here, wasn't it? I don't want to go too far, though. It's the danger of this game. Running off on your own. Oh, no, go back. <laughs> go back. Hello, Viliana, mate. How's it going? Is there someone down? Oh, shit. The scout is down. That's not going to be good for no one. And that's what you get for scouting off on your own, I suppose. We've got a leech above the scout. Oh, fuck. Do we? Yeah. Oh, careful now. Shit. Oh, man, I'm going down. Oh, where is he? Can you make a zip line to us? Then we can come down. I think I've got him. There we go. Just about. Ooh. And the alpha game on EGS. And the gunner again, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect streamer role because it's not too important. As long as I can shield and zip line. I like how the scout's just fucked off and left me here. <laughs> Come on now, I need to zip line the fuck away. Any anywhere will do, just get us out of dodge. Fucked a lot of ya. What was that game by the way? No problem, Urk, all the best pal. Hope you are doing all good. Ah, oh, there's a blood nexus there, no worry. What the hell is exploding? That's what I want to know. The Brood Nexus basically spawns little head crabs, for, for lack of a better word. For those familiar with Half-Life, there's a lot of sort of Half-Life enemies actually. Uh, the barnacles on the ceiling. Kind of head crabby monsters. Little glyphid spider boys, and yeah, well, case in point. Yikes. Don't want to be too fast and loose with the ammo. That's going to do us. Thank God for zipline abuse. You build a spaceship, go to planets and acquire resources and fight aliens. Oh, sounds good. Chuck it on the list. Right, I'm very low on ammo. Where are the other boys? We're all a little bit spread out here. I'm uh, going to establish a zipline network, I feel. It's very sort of groundy, isn't it? Oh, then again, hang on. Do you see what I see? Red sugar. Shit. Forgot there's no crouch in this. Oh god, don't fall. <sighs> right, we're all fully healed. Happy days. So we're doing the mules first, yeah, Kana? Yeah, it might be the smartest thing to do. There's a sort of plan in this game from time to time. Because uh, you can. Objectives in the game can perhaps spawn more alien hordes and stuff, so there's some, some particular missions. Do require a little tiny kind of bit of stratting. There we go. We loving it. All oh, right. All oh, right. There we go. Another leg. We're fixing mini mules. Basically, little robots that we have to repair. It's just an objective, really. Right. One is ready to go. One is ready to go. Uh, emergency shield here. Perhaps unnecessary. Really conserving ammo. I do like that feeling of low ammo in any game, not just this. Really make every shot count if you can. So I am uh, precariously low. Might have to have a retreat, actually. Oh, it's very skippy. Oh, that's not the enemy I want to encounter by myself. Nor is it the jellies I want to be seeing. 
Oh, fuck. Get going. You can see how cathartic this gets. This isn't even the last level. Shoot the rear hind quarters there. Ooh. So we're playing with a plan. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Hello, Chris. Come on. I notice I'm getting farther and farther away from my team. Big disconcertion abound here. Uh, get up. Little, oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, fuck. I'm genuinely out of ammo on my pistol. Yeah, I'm the same Mighty Warrior. I have that problem. <laughs> right, mule repair. Oh, they, they're all happy repairing. And I'm fighting for my life here. Oh, I'm just going to run and regenerate my shields. Where is everyone? Scout's up there. Engineer is there. Driller's there. Okay, I'm going to stick with the boys. One Nitra. Wow. I'm a Dean Blair. Right, come on now. Oh, there we go. That's the supply coming down. Happy days. Excellent. Wow, that was interesting. Ah, delicious, delicious ammo. Available on EGS, but will be releasing on Steam this year. Here's a link to the Steam page. It turns up for DRG. <laughs> So Kane has always got time for DRG. Right. We're looking for the last mule. Which we have to listen for. It's basically a beeping sound. Hello there. I love the blow, the glow from the caverns above. Yeah, it's a beautiful... It is a beautiful game. Uh, it's... I think the most beautiful looking one is perhaps one of the snowy ones or I think it's the crystalline caverns there's like nuclear sort of green crystals in it it looks really fantastic it's, it's a cool looking game I, you know I play with flux on so everything's got a bit of a sort of orange tint but it's a gorgeous game he runs around while the boys complete everything you know it soddy that's the one I'll just provide sort of covering fire Two mule legs at the pod. I'm just following. Who is that I'm following anyway? Mr. Forty Engineer. I was just sort of uh, really nearly going along. He's getting things. Damage control. It's indeed doodly. Oh, hello. We're going to need that big time. Nitro, aka ammo. You can tag with your control tool, which is really quite handy. Ah, I think these are explosive, aren't they? Yes. There we go. Watch out for that. Right, for God's sake, we need Nitra. Especially going forward. I like to sort of stand on the gems that you can cut first. Well, time to pay attention. Hang on, I'm just getting some Nitra. What's happening? Bulk detonator. Bulk detonator, oh shit. Did I grab that Nitra? It didn't sound very convincing. I've got 21, that's fine. Oh, well, oh God, someone get a tag on that bulk detonator. You don't want to be anywhere near a bug detonator. Glue is in the name. Covering fire from 50 meters away. Gunner is a sniper now. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get reloaded. It's not the ideal. Oh, get that nitro in. Oh, we've got loads of nitro for resupplies. That's fine. More than merrier, man. Real dwarfs use shotgun and nade launcher. <laughs> I don't like the shotgun. I think the shotgun feels pretty shit, to be honest. I prefer the other... What's the other engineer's gun? It's been a while. I haven't used the engineer for some time. I do like the engineer, actually, but it's such an important class. If I play it, played it on stream, I would forget to platform and I'd be yelled at. It'd be no good. Was the bulk detonator done? He was. You can tell by the enormous crater he leaves when he dies. All right. We've got the last mule. Well done. Oh, I tried to, <laughs> I tried to take part there. I just sort of glitched out. Right, two eggs to collect now. How's it looking? Hello there, hello there, hello there. Power spam. Power spam. Power slam. Which you can do by holding down both mouse buttons. Very cool. Little power attack there. Semi-recent addition to this game. 
it's basically on a cool down on the right, as you can see above my head here. In this one up there, there you go. I used to be a dwarf, but then I got taller. Hey! <laughs> the uh, driller drilling his own way, thanks to voxel based terrain here. Drilling straight to the egg, which can be obviously seen by the little marker there in our alien style sort of radar equipment here. Very cool, by the way. All the classes are coloured as well, so every, everyone knows what things are. Just everything is very considered in this game. Bit of health there, should anyone so desire. So when I tag, they will see that the gunner has tagged, uh, and it comes up with the material. So it's, it's very, very just good, you know, just nice. Well made is the word, quality. Ooh, speaking of quality, this is not what I am at the minute. Thankfully, I am a gunner. Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. I'm on my way. Oh, no, I'm snagged on scenery. No, 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 no. Get a grenade out there. Cover our ass. I think I've got the cluster grenade. Right, follow the boys. That was no cluster grenades. No, uh, my thing's got, like, horns on it. I don't know if it's defaulted back to the standard grenade. No idea. Sticky grenades. Possibly, yeah, maybe. I do prefer the cluster grenade. I might have swapped it over as you walk through the Praetorian gas loops. You can go your own way. I used to be a dwarf, then I drank Underhill Deluxe and became a gnome. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but that sounds really funny. Oh, man. All right, so what are the boys up to? Mr. Fours doing his own thing. Cringe is doing something. Kane is looking at the map, scratching his head. He's the brains of this operation. always good to have a good driller on the team quite instrumental oh wow that is a cavern jesus i'm feeling it might be a bit of zipline time kane i know where the fuck have we got to go in this deep deep cavern my word that's way over there shit oh no don't fall don't fall don't fall i think the engineer has it well that would be very handy ah there we go as indicated by the earth-shattering screen here. It is a Dutch accent. It is indeed, is Kana. Crazy Dutchman. Can't be trusted. But he's a good dude. I was just waiting for a rebuttal. <laughs> right, on to the drop pod. Uplink to mission control. So that's going to be a horde-based thing again. So far, so good, to be honest, uh, from what I can gather. Uh, apart from almost dying at the start. And we're going to be defending here. I'm just looking for ideal zip lines. Granted, I am on my own at the minute. And the driller will more than likely clear this way of, sort of around the drop pod so it's fit for combat. So how we used to do it. I doubt it's changed. Sort of... Uh, Make it so the aura that we have to protect has a sort of max coverage, you know? We can sort of hide against the wall and make a tunnel. Many ways to sort of skin a cat. Oh, poor Kane is being absolutely besmirched there by jellies. Those little flying jellyfish will sort of do your armour in. They, they're not strong by any means, but in numbers, they're a real pain in the ass. Oh, a bit wasteful on the ammo, but it got the job done. You've always wanted to play a game where you dig for gold, didn't you? Uh, I mean, think all of those times in Neuteg. Oh, absolutely, mate. I've even got a game called Gold Rush, which is specifically for gold digging. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, look out for that as well. There we go. Kill the little bastards. Clifford Guard Grunt. Oh, we've got Praetorians here out the wazoo. Keeping up the fire, because my gun, if I can keep it full auto, it does more damage. So it's in my best interest to just let loose. Hell let loose. Right, final armour. That uh, ammo, sorry. Armour, uh, why do I keep saying armour? Ammo heals as well. So very, very useful out of resupply pods. No, pa Pasu TM. Is that my Pasu or another Pasu? Previously, I am Pasu. If not, ignore me. Welcome, welcome. Right, we are building the uplink. 
<laughs> not quite. Not quite, Ash. Ah, welcome back, Pasu, mate. How the devil are you? How the devil are you on a Friday? Especially Friday. Perhaps the best day of the week, one could say. Bloody hell, how many molly calls here? Do they not disappear? Or is that glitched? Oh no, that must be Molly's lanterns when she's uh, returned back to the pod. I've never seen that before. The yellow... That's pheromone, isn't it, Kana? The yellow sort of fly, fireflies. So I'm trying to remember all the little new grenades they added as well. Sorry, I need to be in the thing, don't I? Too busy being uh, enchanted by yellow pheromones. Grabbed a bag of M&Ms to celebrate. <laughs> you know how to live, man. Uh, for me, it's uh, cheap white wine and playing Hell Let Loose with my boys. Uh, very much look forward to that every week. A bit of silly bollocks to see the week out. So the engine has used his platforms to sort of uh, make us a defilade position here. Or at least a safe position from the enemies. So it's, it's very non-linear how you want to play this game. If you get a few sort of smart people on the team, you can really sort of blitz it. You should do, Ash. It's very cool. I, I do do it a disservice sort of sh streaming it in my style because you should really uh, focus and be really into it. Have the music up all the way. Just enjoy the atmosphere. And enjoy the bluster. And have a beer at the end of each mission. It's it's very good. Well, I'm being bamboozled here. Careful now. I could shield as well, but I fear it's not necessary at the minute. If I could run Hell Let Loose, I'd play it, but my PC can't seem to run Squad well. Oh, then you won't run Hell Let Loose. That game is horrifically optimised. But it's very good. The gameplay is excellent. If you've got a good bunch of people to play with, I wouldn't recommend it if you're going to play solo. Not because it's hard or difficult, it's it just it's not very enjoyable by yourself, believe me. Oh, oh is that by design, Kana? Bringing the thing down? Oh, intriguing. Interesting. I can't even get to dig it. Oh, there we go. I like. I'm liking the sort of new uh, natural strats here, Kana. Good to see. Are we digging it out? Or are we leaving it in, in the? Oh, I see. <clears throat> Interesting. I've never seen that before. I was thinking uh, Zesty was the finest wine the UK has to offer. It is. It is, Chris. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, shit. I need to reload. Oh, so I think that is a sticky grenade. Hey, nice. With a bit of incendiary, maybe? Or well, that might be the flamethrower. That's a good bit of damage, though. So damage control, crowd control is pretty much what the gun is used for. And an, an emergency shield should things get too sticky. There we go. Good enough for a tactical revive. I hope it's not too jittery the way I play FPS as well. I'm quite sort of snappy with my aim. Oh, that's a Glyphid Menace. Kill that little scumbag because they're really horrible. Their damage is awful. I can run armor free quite well. Were you ever into that, Simo, since you're into tactical shooters? I like the original Operation Flashpoint, Ash, but uh, armor... Armor kind of lost me, especially number three. I, I just... It did a horrific job of its modding tools, I think. Um, sort of making it casual for people like me that like the realism but don't necessarily, this is years ago, have friends to play like the multiplayer mods and stuff. I was just a solo guy. Uh, I loved the idea of a great expansive mission, but I felt the AI, sort of post armor, just dropped. Operation Flashpoint always had the best AI, I think. Uh, the AT gunners would actually shoot the fucking tanks and be useful, but armor all the way to free, just rubbish. And I, I hated the setting of armor free, that Greece island shit. It was sort of semi futuristic. It, it was dog shit, man. I, I just didn't like it. The enemy had like these APCs with grenade launchers on that would just come along randomly, and you wouldn't have an AT guy. And it's like, well, this is rubbish. I've never played it again. It, Controls like dog shit, feels like dog shit, utter dog shit, quite frankly. I'm sure you would get used to it and enjoy it with friends, but it passed me by. 
to a fault. But no, Operation Flashpoint. Mmm, tasty. Oh no, one is down. Oh no, two is down. <laughs> Fucking horrible voice acting. There we go. If anyone remembers that, of course. Right, we've got armor incoming here. Don't know why I keep saying armor. Supply drop. We'll stick with supply drop. All right. Oh no, he, that's being taken, that slot. I am being attacked, but I think I'm fine because this heals. I don't think a shield is necessary. I'm not going to waste it because they are limited. Fuck off. Horrible little bastards. Right, fuck this. We've got ammo, let's use it. Oh, we've got a bunch of jelly buys. Drop pod is open. Covering fire. Yep, yep, yep. Armor coming. So that's mission two. We've got one more to go and it's going to be even harder. I have memories of screaming AT, uh, AT AI and armor free to shoot an APC. Yes. Yeah, I know. I had that, that exact same problem and they was just rubbish. Whereas the original Operation Flashpoint was perfect. A game from 2001. Alright then. Stay low oxygen. Oh. What does that mean? Low oxygen? I don't know what that debuff will mean. Does that mean... No, that's not where we have the squeaky voices, is it? No. Interesting. No, that'd be helium. Helium. <laughs> for God's sake. Yes, thank you for joining me, folks, here today on a Friday. It was indeed. I, I do believe it was, Boomer. I am very certain. Well, this is going all right, Kaner, isn't it? Not too shabby. Intrigued to find out what low O2 means. The missions can also have much like roguelike sort of level debuffs and that. Or a couple of a couple of buffs such as more gold. Gold aliens or something. I can't remember them all. Alright, reload before we do anything. So it's a mining mission and a dreadnought mission, which is a assassination. Or elimination, sorry. So this will be <laughs> Depending on the, the hazard level the game has chosen, it might be a bit yeah. difficult. We really need to set up a decent plan for the dreadnoughts. So what's this O2 shtick as well, Kana? I've got a... uh, stick with Molly or you suffocate. Oh wow, oh well, what a very interesting mechanic. That's cool. I always said we needed more uh, sort of nastiness in this game, more hazards, more snowstorms and hazards basically that's really cool oh, what an interesting mechanic <laughs> by the way supply drops also give oxygen oh, okay besides that you're stuck to molly all right then all oh, right yeah i can see so that's interesting keep an eye on that o2 meter for god's sake my name has been defiled by memers <laughs> yes Oh dear, Lute uh, Limited Boomer. I keep going to call you Limited uh, Lieutenant Boomer. <laughs> Not Limited Boomer. Bang, there we go. So we basically have to mine green gems here. A very simple mission, as well as kill a big boy. A very big boy who's not going to be happy that he's been disturbed from his slumber. Yeah, that is the Dreadnought. Call cool Molly, for God's sake, because we need her and her oxygen tanks. What a very decent mechanic. I wonder if they've added many more. I do need you to be here. How big is the radius for this? There we go. Have a suckle on Molly. That doesn't sound, <laughs> that doesn't sound right. You're like void bastards. Uh, you have to worry about such hazards in that game as well. Ah, yes. Uh, or m Message me on Twitch, uh, Ash, mate, if you know how to. Click on my... Click on my name and you should be able to see the prompt. Howdy. Oh. Hello, Lily. How's it going? Thank you for the raid and hello, raiders. How the devil are we on a Friday? Hi, Simo, Simo, Simo. <laughs> uh, I very much enjoyed your rendition of Clan Pipe of Gung of Gogedith and Drobo Clan Tassilio Go 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 earlier. I've clipped it, it's on record. It has been said. <laughs> This is now a smooth channel. Oh, yes, it is indeed, with Deep Rock Galactic. Come and join us, folks, if Left for Dead and Noita had a baby. And a little bit of Minecraft, a bit of procedurally generated teamwork action here. 
Mm, thank you for the raid, folks. That was amazing. Uh, it was supposed to be Lieutenant. It should have been LT Dot, but since I made the name when I was like eight years old, I fucked it and added a D. <laughs> Nicely done. Well, well, we'll call you Lieutenant Boomer then. How about that? Let's make 2020 yours, Boomer. And hello, Vito. And hello, Solar. How the devil are we, folks? Thank you for the raid once more. Very, very kind of you, Lily. Sorry, there you go, Mr. Simon. There you go. Uh, so we are currently mining for more kite, which is a, a green gem. We're doing a deep dive, which is basically kind of end gamey stuff here. Uh, so we're just going at it, making a return to Deep Rock Galactic, my first game I ever streamed, in April 2019, many moons ago. Voxel-based cave destruction with teamwork and classes. Oh, hello, I'm being attacked here by a little bastard. Oh, am I going to need additional... Shit, I've remembered, actually, rather dangerously. I need some O2. Where is Molly? I think I've got enough time. I keep being attacked by these little bastards. You've never seen it before. Oh, God, you're in for a treat then, uh, Lily. Co-op delightfulness this is. Left for Dead, Minecraft, all sort of merged into one. Where the fuck is Molly? I need her now. Ah, oh, there she is. This game... Oh, no, don't call Molly. I fucking need her. I'm stuck on scenery. Ah, yes, this, uh, all the levels are random, uh, biomes, there's a few biomes, but the actual cave systems are random, and the levels that you join can have, uh, like, a random uh, debuff, I suppose, uh, a multiplier, I think the correct word is, and this current one is, like, an O2 meter, so we have to stay close to our, basically, a deposit box that can walk, called Molly, uh, so if we stray from her... We will end up dying if we go too far. Helium planets are super cool. Ah, oh, and hello, Ashington. How are you, mate? Ooh, climbing out of the woodwork here. Happy Friday. There we go. Ooh, good. We're looking for more, Kite. What, this room might be a nice room to fight the Dreadnought? Mm. Yes, possibly. How are we off for zip lining? No, that might be a bit precarious. I think I'd be very happy with a zip line here. A little bit wasteful, but you never know. It's always good to traverse and run around. Have I played driller much? I've, I've done a bit of drilling. I mostly play gunner for streaming because the other class, the more important classes, let's face it, are actually utilised. Like, for instance, I almost died <laughs> from lack of O2. Oh no! Little McTerra grabber, they're little bastards that can actually steal your friends. So it's best to kill them and try not to shoot the scout's head off. Whoa! Oh, that's cool. No, I have seen this before, it's just been a while. I forgot that they added weather, that's really cool. Really atmospheric, hope it's not destroying my bit right here. <laughs> it's a fast moving game. Alright, we'll have a. Oh no, tactical reload gone awry here. All is well. So yeah, there's constantly spawning enemies, pretty much. Big beefy weapons to dispatch them, though. No, no, no. I see your armoured frontage. It ain't going to do you any good. Those are passive enemies, so we don't have to worry about them. I'm all good for health. That's red sugar standing there. Uh, if you thought the flamethrower or cryo cannon was better... Mm. Oh, that's a good... Yeah, I'm going to have to go with Kana as well and say the flamethrower. I see the merits of the cryo cannon, which is basically a freeze gun, but the, the ammo is... Sometimes it feels really OP, and in other days it's fucking useless, in my opinion. But the beauty of this game, you can play how you want. Um, I'm very well, mate. How are you and the missus and the dog? Oh, we're all good, thank you, Ashington, mate. Uh, I, need, I need to actually uh, talk to you about something, actually, mate. I've been there... Uh, I forgot to message you entirely, quite honestly. It's been a busy week. Neo. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Neo, as well. Oh, hi, Ashington. Yeah, Mr. Simo says hi, Ashington. Hi, everyone, of course. Um, you can build any cool stuff with the resources you find. Uh, the resources you find, Lily, other than Nitra. Nitra is for ammo that we can use to resupply in mission. But the actual gems and stuff you can find uh, around the mission is, is purely for kind of cosmetics for your dwarfs. As you'll see, dwarfs are kitted out. You can sort of dress them up, basically, how you want, beards. 
uh, and weapon up sorry excuse me uh, weapon upgrades as well it's, it's all accounted for you never do a mission without getting something it, it's there's no pay to win there's no horrible nothing the developers are fantastic a, a really strong game this is honestly oh, I think I'm gonna follow grimoire grimoire welcome folks thank you for <laughs> coming with me to play some deep rock galactic oh, we've got a Clifford Praetorian here I'm gonna try and get a little bit closer shoot the weak spot on his ass shoot him on the ass ooh la la have a tactical reload we we're actually waiting for more Kai actually yeah we sort of hanging around yeah, I want to trigger the dreadnoughts, but the wave came. Ah, right. Actually, where is the dreadnought? I've sort of been standing here without realizing. Oh, he's down. Oh, he's down there. Right, we have to basically trigger this dreadnought, folks. Uh, big nasty enemy. Worth the follow on Twitch. Oh, thank you, Ash, for the. <laughs> you will follow him. You will follow him. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Thank you, folks. I know you're always in my corner. Come rain, moon, or shine. Is that the correct phrase? Rain, moon, or shine? That doesn't sound right. Rain, Come rain, moon, or shine. We'll be there. Rain, shine. rain, wind, or shine. Do you know what I mean? I think I've said it wrong. You know what I mean, though. No. Whatever the weather. So the dreadnought is down there. The uh, cane is going to go and res him so to speak, out of his egg, he's going to be really pissed off and he will come back here. Ideally, because the caves are procedurally generated in this game, we need to find a big open area and... So uh, what are the classes on this game? Uh, you have Gunner, you have Engineer, you have Scout and you have Driller. Uh, Scout's basically a navigator with a sort of snipery weapons uh, he can light up the caves with very powerful flares the driller drills and he's got a flamethrower engineer's got sort of intermediary weapons he can place platforms so he can jump and go places and he can also place turrets much like team fortress 2 uh, and obviously my gunner is the gunner i can do these zip lines which is good for traversal and i've also got uh, a mini gun or this auto cannon uh, as well as a placeable shield, it will basically put a bubble down for us, so a lot of synergies and stuff. Uh, classes can be played very well, or slightly poorly. It's, it's very casual at the same time being lovely and brutal, if you allow it. It's, 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 it's good. It's, it's hard to be disappointed, it, it really, really is. Kano, are we going with you, mate, or are we just... Uh... I'm honestly... What Oh, it's oh there he is. <laughs> that looked really funny. <laughs> you just see this little pincer. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of there. <laughs> that, that is the dreadnought, by the way. A big nasty buy. Kane is using his his debt packs there. We can hear him digging. He's after someone. We need our O2 as well. We must keep our O2 up. Oh, there he is. He's been tagged. There we go. Oh shit. Oh, that ain't good, man. Let's get the fuck out of here. We need a big open space to fight this guy. Oh, there's a big chunk of nitra here. Remember, nitra equals ammo. For God's sake, get some of that. We're going to be needing it. Thankfully, you can tag enemies in this and see them through walls. Ah, oh, his armor's been stripped. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. Get a couple of shots off now. Nah, too early. Too late, sorry. Let's get a reload. I'm one level from promotion. Do you get rewards on deep dives and what you do on normal missions? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, mate. This is my first actual deep dive, despite uh, being a semi-veteran of this game. 100 sort of plus hours, you know. Not entirely sure. I know that there's all the end game stuff that's been added while I've been not playing this game. So I'm, I'm trying to come to grips with it myself. Well, and there's the little magma spawns from the Dreadnought. Horrible, nasty boy. Oh, there's his bum exposed sort of armoured uh, carapace. Is carapace the right word? You've got to sort of get in there. Oh, sorry, uh, Kana. No, you got yourself burns. Nah, I'm used to that. Especially when playing with you. Hey! Sticky grenade for the hell of it. No, the armour is back. We have to deplete the armour before we can get to the health. Deep dives are fun. Yeah, it's my first time doing it. It's good shit. I'm 
You're down, are you? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Run away. Well, my word. So as you can tell, a bit of a nasty boy. I think I'm safe to not use a shield for reviving poor Kana here. Oh, his armor's up. Get out of the way. Don't get too close because he does AoE damage. He is not a nice boy. He's a chunky boy. Nothing that can't be dealt with with a semi-reasonable team. The armor is exposed. Oh, no, I'm uh, not doing no damage from in front like that. Gonna have to reload, sadly. Ah, oh, fuck. Any damage counts. Any damage counts. Oh, fuck my O2. Oh, my word. Where is Molly? There she is. There's also a supply pod. <sighs> ah, yes, the supply pod, of course. Also does O2. Yeah, we soon see, eh? Whew. Right, we're all good. Where is... Where's he gone? Get a tag on that fucker. Because I can't see where he is. There we go. Nicely done. Right, we need some bloody ammo. Good shit, boys. That's a tasty meatball. I'm a gold digger. <laughs> yeah, quite literally, I, I am in this game. Quite literally a gold digger. Alright. So the missions are done. Oh no, we still need some more more kite. Ooh la la. Let's have a look. More kite is a green gem, basically. Easily found. Just kind of sticking with the boys. I don't want to go off by myself. That would be not good. Uh, probably not best to follow the scout. Let's see what Kane is doing because he's the man with the drill with the drills. Sorry. Hello, Passy. Hello, hello, hello. The official Deep Rock Galactic soundtrack. Hey, this uh, the soundtrack of this game. I'm not normally one for game soundtracks. I I often tune out a lot of music. Not not by design, but I often do. But this music in particular, it's very synth wavy and really suits the sort of atmosphere of the game when you're waiting for aliens to come and such. Hey Sumo, deep dives award matrix cores for each levels, which is either weapon overclocks, cosmetics like beards or blank ones, to be infused by machine events found in normal missions. Ghost ship games, you the official uh, guys there. Oh la la. If so. Yes, hello ghost ship. How the devil are you? I was just extolling your virtues. If you are the official people, <laughs> I can't imagine there being a parody account of Ghost Ship Games, but uh, regardless, absolutely tremendous game you have here. It was the first game I started playing in April 2020, uh, 2019 even, we've not gotten there. Even the dwarfs can't time travel, let alone me. He does play, uh, he does more than play instruments, he rules at the instruments. I don't, I, I do have my pink trumpet, but I haven't gotten around to learning it yet, sadly. Well, I, I've tried, but things have uh, things have been busy and uh, lifey as they are. Boom! There we go. Oh, and thank you for the intel as well, GSG. Yeah, it's my first time doing a deep dive today. I I always said uh, previous to these updates coming out that it needs more in-game content, more in-game content, because even magma magma level five, magma core hazard five. It was kind of easy for me and my good friend Kana here, and we was like, oh man, I wish they just really ramped it up. It is I, the official Ghost Ship account. We are glad to see you pick it up again. Oh, have you been waiting for me to return, have you guys? <laughs> I'm, I'm pleased that you remembered me. Oh, there we go. Actually, my O2, God, it's, I'm too busy rambling on here. My bad, team. Shit. <laughs> Careful now. I'm just below, I'm just below, I'm just below. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, this is going to hurt. I'm going down, guys, my bad. <clears throat> uh, haven't had time to watch your thank you video yet, but I assume you are thanking us for a great last year. You're welcome, my bald man. It was a hell of a ride, and I really enjoyed it, and I'm still enjoying it. You're currently my favourite streamer on Twitch. Ah, oh, thank you, Passy. Yeah, I just, I just, I fancied making it today. Uh, try and get into that rogging lifestyle. Something that makes me a little bit internally cringe, but at the same time... It allows me to express myself, so it is what it is. Thank you for thank you for the good 2019 for those that haven't seen that. It's it's been a tremendous ride. And we're admiring the scout. Almost falling to his death. 
And yeah, I really like the deep dives, uh, GSG. Do we have a do we have a name for the GSG man, the man behind the curtain? Oh, we'll just call you GSG. Oh. No, I really enjoy it. Uh, sort of a little bit unclear on the sort of cause and stuff, but my good friend Kana will sort of slide me through. <laughs> Is that the correct word? Slide me through? I don't think so. That sounds a bit malicious. Oh, I don't like to give uh, Kana the chance of doing anything to me, quite frankly. Because you can't trust the Dutch. This is Jacob at the keyboard. Oh, hello, Jacob. Welcome. Pull up a chair and chill with us. Sometimes I just like to stop and look at the graphics here. Even with my flux screen tints are on. It still looks damn good. For Carl, yes indeed. Rock and stone and all that jazz. We were saying earlier, <laughs> Jacob... Uh, this is probably one of the rare, only games, rare, rarity in online gaming, that you can play publicly and don't have to communicate a word, sort of over voice chat or even text chat. All you have to do is press bloody V. <laughs> as long as you've got a team full of people doing the V command, you know you're in good hands. Whoa, there we go. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Careful now. Stay away, boys. Now, now, now. How we doing? How we doing? We've got 200. We're all good. Uh, I won't do the thing as I know the guys like to check for things around the map. Did I just hear you say you can't trust Dutch? <laughs> Hello, KP. Uh, hey, Ghost Ship, do you know how uh, sometimes Dev gives free keys and chat for people to play? I don't have friends with whom to play. Oh, come on, Cabo. No begging now, no begging. Uh, you've done a great job on the game. Uh, you said Dutchy too, I assume. <laughs> How's it going, KV? How the devil are you? I just gave the last friend away. Ah, rock and stone. All right. Drop pod has arrived. As I said, this, this is why I stick with Gunner for streaming, because <laughs> I'm too busy talking. So, people don't care if the gunner dies. He's, he's poo, isn't he? He's rubbish. Leave him be. He'll, he'll do his own thing. We'll leave the important work to the real men, eh? Well, there we go. Jesus. I do actually need to unlock some of the sort of new cosmetics and stuff. Uh, Kana has uh, feverishly been posting me uh, screenshots of the new skins you guys have made. So I'm very much looking forward to trying. I, I've got one for this auto cannon. I think there's quite a few more. And that actually, Kana, you find those cosmetics in the world, don't you? Because I remember we played a few months ago and we found like a chest on like a point extract mission. Yeah, you can find them in chests or you can get them from the machine events with the matrix cores or from the deep dives. Ah, okay. What's that I got from the chest? And those chests are just random, yeah? Yeah. Ooh, so it is kind of like a roguelike in, in that sense. That's That's really cool. Just pay attention, that's all. <laughs> that's hard for me. <laughs> I'm going down, by the way. No oxygen. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Is that because I've been jumping on your face? Right, I'm about, I'm about to be low oxygen as well. Shit. We've got a multiplier here, so to speak. Uh, I've got you, mate. Don't you worry. Does it respawn you with full oxygen? Can't be too uh, wishful thinking, can we? Get out of the way, Mr. Greeny boy. No Praetorians allowed. No, no, no. Right, we're almost there. I'm low on oxygen, but I think I think we're going to be fine. Uh, get a shield down, just for the hell of it. A couple of grenades out and a supply drop. Mind your head. Yep, I, I just realised that. I was about to have a flathead, like a screwdriver. There she comes, right. We are done. They're almost done with the first deep dive. I think this is unnecessary, but I'm going to do it. Oh, leave me be. Grenade out. Come on, boys. Rock and stone, yes indeed. And there we go. First deep dive done. Very nice. Oh, that was good. That was really good. Yeah, thank you, Jacob. Belgian beers would be costly to export to Hoxis for. Besides, Deep Rock Galactic probably has a lucrative deal with whoever supplies the beer in the Abyss Bar. Ooh. 
I noticed a new beer mechanic as well. You could pick up plants and shit around the world. That's cool. Just keep doing what you're doing because you've got it cinched in. That just, <laughs> It's so good. I, I always talk about Deep Rock, but I never end up playing it on stream. But I thought, no, today is the day that I changed that. So it's been far too long. It's about damn time. I've just kept Kana in like a little cage like down the side of my desk. He's just like, play Deep Rock, play Deep Rock. And here we are. You have my full support, Kana. <laughs> uh, we need Al for the health potions in this. All right, then. Mr. Fool's leaving. I'm going to say GG to him. It's always good to have a GG because uh, it's kind of like CS... I don't play CSGO, but so you understand, it's you have to lock in for free games because people can't join a deep dive, so... Yeah, I didn't actually pay attention to my screen whatsoever. So, do I have like an inventory or a results screen? Because I don't know what I gained from that. <laughs> you should have obtained a new core. Is, is that seen in the forge? I've got an unstable overclock for the NG shotgun. Significantly faster rate of fire, greater damage, increased spread, longer reload time. Ooh, that sounds good, because I don't like the NG shotgun. So I always run out of ammo with it, so... We'll give that a little go, enjoy some cutscenes here. Thank you all for joining me, and especially uh, the devs of the damn game. It's always uh, very nice for a streamer to receive such love. Okay, then. Uh, mini Assault Weapon Skin Set for the... Oh, for all of the jeweler's stuff, really? Ooh. Boom, boom, boom. Let's have a look. Not that I've played a really tremendously much. Because it's it's... I'd say the third most important class. I'd say the scout and engineer are top two. It's a toss-up between number one, I'd say, but engineer and scout, I would say. But a driller can save the day at the end of the mission, so it's kind of up and down on sort of the importance of classes. Uh, Passy, uh, you're more than free to join us, mate, if you so desire. Uh, so we've got a driller and an engineer, so we just need a scout. Uh, I do have some new items. Let me have a look. Ooh, looking very nice here. I think that the, the shaders have changed in this as well. It looks like more... It used to look quite hazy and washed out this game, but it looks really nice. Oh, and I've got a third... Ah, right, is that a new thing? No aim penalty while moving. Oh, wow. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I have invited him, yeah. I don't know if he's going to come along. Uh, so I just want to have a quick look at the driller. I un unlocked some guff. I am assuming a skin. Uh, that's... Yeah, yeah, it looks... I'll stick with what I've got, I think. <laughs> uh, stick to the gunner. Yeah, 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 don't switch. Right, so... I guess I need to do some assignments then. Uh, you missed the sound and graphical overhaul a few updates ago. It looks really good. Uh, weekly core hunt. Um, promoted character. Is that something we would need to do, Kana? Or just stick with the weekly assignment? I'm not entirely sure. I'm trying to get into the mindset of what this game uh, sort of had you doing. A core hunt. But haven't we just done that? I'm not too sure. Do the core hunt. More cores. <laughs> More cores. So the cores are basically the currency for the forge, I'm, I'm assuming... An extra matrix core. Okay, then. Let's go for that, then. Blank matrix core. Overclock infused matrix core. Cosmetic infused matrix core. All right, then. Well, good news for you guys. Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh, magma core. Oh, bloody. Do we go has five for that? That's going to be brutal, man. Uh, the yearly performance bonus will soon disappear since it's a new year thing. Oh, was that the little present thing? I did see it there, but I don't think I could click it. We'll do that after this if we can be so bold and complete this in time. Oh, that's going to be absolutely rough, but we're going to take it. 
has four. I'm not quite ready for has five yet. Give me a couple more missions. Uh, the, I do believe I said it as public, so someone else can join. I, this is my good boy. You st I'll send him another invite, just in case. He might have missed it. You stepping is a great dude to play with. Actually, um, I'm sure you get it all the time, Jacob, but any sort of plans for Twitch integration? Mixer integration was good. It was it was it was very fun. It was very difficult. Not conducive to being successful, but be very much interested to hear if that's on the cards. I know it's a very small percentage of probably your priorities with all the great work you do on the regular as well, no less. It'd be good to see. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> We've got a scout just joined there. You step in as uh, decided not to come along. It seems, unfortunately. That's fine. So Magma Core is, is probably one of the harder levels. I don't want to say the hardest. I would say probably Dense Biome is perhaps the hardest. It, it's a horrible mission, Dense Biome. I, it's, it's very tricky. Ooh, little animations are picking up stuff. That's cool. Grab the Nitro, a.k.a. M.O. We're going to need a hell of a lot of this for an elimination. There we go. You're going to be the death of me. I'm going to be the death of you, why is that? You and your magma core. Uh, you love a bit of magma core, Kane. I don't know what you're on about. We'll be fine. Oh, Clifford Bray Dorian. I could have chucked it on Has 4. We can always restart. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, hello, old friend. Those explodey boys. Little bugs that rush you then explode. Really not good for anyone's health. There we go. I hope so. It's definitely something I feel that would add to the game overall. I know there's been some work done on it earlier, so maybe it will happen at some point. Oh, good to know. There you go, Kana. Twitch integration, possibly on the cards. Possibly. So you can abuse me some more like you used to on Mixer. Spartan Lemon took a break due to Carpal Tunnel. Ah, oh, that's a shame. He was a good dude. He always used to like lurk in his the DRG streams because he would... Uh, he was quite experienced as well, and he would just explain his strats and stuff, which is really quite nice. I have been away from the DRG community, admittedly, but uh, it's an another one of them games. All the games that I've ever played on Twitch have always had a great community. Uh, Deep Rock Galactic, Warframe, Noita, a couple of roguelikes like Isaac. Everyone's been friendly and ever so lucky, sort of my time here streaming. Oh, purple jelly buys. Sorry, I'm realising the error of my ways here. Got a couple of spitball infectors, which are basically enemies that hurl, for lack of a better word, cannonballs us. It's not good for the health. Oh. Gonna really need to kill this scumbag. Kane is going down. Oh, yikes. We've got barnacles going here. Got those little neocytite, whatever the hell they're called. Bastards that will shoot out little jellies until they're killed. I'm just going to cover fire here. Got a couple of boys down. I think uh, the area is secure. Going to prioritise the scout if you don't mind, Kana. Oh no, it's the NG, sorry. I just like leaving Kana last. There we go. I'm going to set you on fire. <laughs> there we go. All is well in the world. Ow! You bastard. Right, I've got shitloads of nitro here. Ooh, hello. I need to reload. Yikes. All good. All good in the hood. The proverbial hood. In actual fact, I've got full... Full nitro and such here. Hang on. Molly, molly, molly. Come here. So that's a... Whole host of nitro in the coffers there. Did we see some more? There's nitro up there. There's gold up there. It's all up in the gaff here. Scout's going to really need to pull his finger out. Thankfully, he's got a little star, but of course he has because it's a sort of core thing. Very wasteful zipline, but why are you standing there watching me? Go and get, <laughs> go and get the nitro. You get some people that are just, uh, huh? <laughs> what are we meant to do? Sometimes you just got to do it yourself. There we go. I didn't. I thought the scout was away, but he's there with me. <laughs> there we go. Leave. There we are. Fuck me. The cane is up, gone up there himself. Oh dear. It's the way she goes, man. 
I would be one of those people. I have a very smooth brain. <laughs> but you make it up with adorableness, so there you are. All is fine in the world. Whoa. That looks very cool, doesn't it? Very nice lightning effects. Good stuff. Aesthetically pleasing is this game. Alright, get the stuff in the gaff there. Hello there. No Clifford grunts allowed. These are like the equivalent of Uzi boys, they're just persistently annoying. There we go. Oh no, someone's down. There we go. Passy's doing a good job being NG. Yikes. Oh, compulsively studying the evidence. I had an uncanny vision last night that the future is going to be like Mad Max or Star Trek, depending on how we deal with climate climate change. Knowing humanity, this morning I've bought myself a V8 interceptor. Hey. How much of that is true, Viliana? Have you gone buying stuff again? Oh. Right, so what's the crack then, folks? Uh, the bonus thing has been collected, the Apocabloom. We are after Glyphid Dreadnoughts, which... Ah, oh, right, we're actually here. I'm ready, Passy, if you are. Are we ready, Kana? I'd say we are. I'm all reloaded. Oh, no, I'm not. We've got a couple of emergency zip lines here that are just sort of useful for scumming the sort of AI pathfinding. At least in my mind. To sort of hover and be relatively safe. I'm ready. I'm going to have a drink. Hello, Shrek. How the devil are you, mate? Happy Friday. And hello, Tobex. Hello. Thank you for joining us. It's pretty much a 3D rogue, like, in, in that sense. So come along and watch us suffer, especially here on Magma Core, one of the hardest levels. We're just sort of waiting on... I don't know, to be honest. Uh, where are the boys? The, the scout is off doing his own thing. Kel Surprise. It's... Fuck it, let's do it, boys. You ready? There we go, that'll get the scout here. Right, here we go. Dreadnought again, we've got to kill two of these bastards. But we've got Passy and Kana here. And me, we kind of know what we're doing. There we go. Shoot him up the bum. Oh, don't get too close though, because he's got an AoE attack that's going to be very dicey. Right, armor's up. You sort of, especially as a gunner, you sort of have to keep an eye on his armour. Reload sort of about a little bit before his armour goes. Then you can sort of warm up your gun and use your whole magazine to shoot his weak spot. It's not the best firing position, admittedly. Come on. Fuck. We're doing alright, though. We're doing alright. Chip away a little bit of the armour. Reload in time. You see what I'm doing here. Just make sure he's not aggroed to us, though, because that will be... Ever so bothersome. It's getting a little bit dark in here. There we go. I see you. He's running away. Yeah, there we go. One of two down. Nicely done. I love the, uh, the 2020 video message, Simo. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, thank you, Ace Clown. Yeah, well, I've. It was just an honest counting. Thank you guys for sort of supporting me in 2019 and beyond. And uh, of course, that Friday feeling. All good spirits here, man. How about yourself? There we go. I'm very much enjoying my return to Deep Rock. It's such a tremendous quality game, really. It's like finding like a shiny Pokemon card. Just like, oh, well, this is good. <laughs> nice, shiny Char nice shiny Charizard here. I will keep that and cherish that. Right, we're going, we're going, we're going. How's our ammo looking? Oh, we need a bit more Nitra. I'm back at work tomorrow for... Four... Four 12 hour shifts. Today is your Sunday. Ah, oh, that's not fun, man. We've got some bonus objectives here knocking about. Hang on now. There we go. I love that little animation. When was that added? The little pickup animation. It's all about the immersion. It's a quality game. It really is. Boom. So, no more little spidey buys. It will spawn some, but they're one hit kills, basically. I should really just blow them up. I don't want to waste too much ammo. Ah, careful now. There we go. All is well in the world. 
Uh, where is the next guy? Ah, he's right here. What a tremendous cavern. You can see how sort of random these caves are generated. You get some really beautiful sort of specimens. Really cool. That's it. He's after the ammo. What do we see? Where? See, he's... Ooh, I think we're going to have to drill some access. Lead him into this cavern. He's very close. We can sort of... I believe... Where is the meeting point here? Sort of down roughly here. Okay, now I reckon if we can drill through there, then we can lead that dreadnought into this big cavern. I'll go get the first guy. <laughs> oh, Kane is there. Lovely stuff. He's going to drill us. Uh, he's going to drill us a hole because he's going to lead the dreadnought to this big cavern. You always want to fight a dreadnought in a big cavern. Uh, hello and happy Friday, everyone. Watching Simo streaming and having a cold beer after work. Life is good. Oh, that's good, man. That is good stuff. What beer have you got? I love co-op games with asymmetric roles responsibility. So cool. Oh, yeah, there's, there's plenty of stuff to do in this game. If you get bored of one particular class, just play another. There's four to pick from. All got different weapons as well. It's, it's truly a endlessly scalable game. It really, really is. Really needs more bloody love, you know? I wish I could get more people just playing this and talking about it. it everyone says that about their favourite games. Oh, this is overrated, this is underrated, but this... I don't know, man. They've sort of struck gold, but have not received the adequate fanfare, I feel. I don't know, maybe, it, maybe it's just because I like caves and stuff. I like movies like The Descent and... When I used to play a bit of Minecraft, I always liked the abandoned mine shafts and stuff. I always find underground stuff very mystifying and cool. So maybe that's my bias talking, but I don't know, man. People play shit like Anthem instead. Where, where's the where's the right in the world? Well, I used to. Hey, but you know what I mean. You don't know what Anthem is. Oh, that's good. It was some shitty. Destiny come Warframe ripoff that EA tried to do. It failed miserably. It was beautiful. Yes, absolute dog shit. I did even need to play it to say that as well. Right, there we go. We're d trying to dispatch this enemy on less than favourable terrain, at least for my firing position. But I think we've got it. We've got him. Yeah. There we go. Teamwork, man. The game is awesome and needs more love. Absolutely, Musa. Uh, you don't necessarily need friends. And hello, Chaos, as well. We're all grabbing the wine here on a Friday. Thanks for joining us. But um, you don't really need friends to play this, in all honesty. It's... The people you play with in public lobbies, uh, there's a way to tell who's a noob and who's not. Noob meant in the most respectful terms. New to the game, not stupid noob. Because uh, people have these stars, like promotion stars, and if someone's got a, at least one bronze star, how many hours would you say, Kane, it takes to get a, a star? 20 hours? Roughly. Yeah, so you can generally rank people on how many stars they've got. Uh, one to three in each sort of type of metal, if that makes sense. So you can get one, two, three bronze, one, two, three silver, one, two, three gold. So if you see someone with three gold stars, that's... At least 500 hours, I would say, if they're, if they're at gold. So, even if I you play. I gotta say, it's not, not completely right, right because there are some, some people who manage to cheat in the game and therefore gain absurd levels and full gold stars. Oh, really? Mm, why would they do a well, thing like that? quickly notice who is doing that and who's actually skilled. Yeah, I think this scout might be one of them. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, the, the people that you can play with in the game, a very, very rare chance you'll get a bunch of idiots and you would not know what to do. It, it's very straightforward. Don't need health. Health is full. We've actually done all right here on Magma Core. We're looking for the secondary objective at the minute. Basically pick up a balls around the world. There we go. Oh no, that's not one. <laughs> I've been tricked. Is someone talking to a real ghost right now? Ooh. Your buddy sounds like God uh, with the dual voice. Oh, are you getting... Are you hearing dual audio? Interesting. Maybe it's coming through all my speakers and you're also hearing my direct Discord audio. I'm oh, sorry, I, I assumed that was a, 
an acceptable configuration. Uh, gotta head out now, thanks for the kind words, Simo. Uh, we have a new update coming in Jan 30th. Ooh, very nice. I hope you enjoy that too. Have a good one. Ah, all right then, Jacob. All the best. Thank you for thank you very much for coming by the stream. And I look forward to watching more updates, mate. Keep it keep it good. Have a few beers on me, and uh, have a good weekend if you can relax on the weekend, knowing game developer schedules and such. As I walk around willy nilly, Ooh, it's all kicking off. And hello, Feral. How are you? How the devil are you, pal? Happy Friday, one and all. Just keeping an eye on the boys. Passy and Kana have gone off. I'm just making sure I'm not being left behind here. Quite the... Uh, oh, God. Quite the layout is the bloody magma caverns. Ugh. I don't really want to be stuck with the scout, in all honesty. I think I've gone the wrong way here. Oh, no, we're close. All is well in the world. Oh, we've got explody boys on our six. There we go. I think we're all good, thankfully. Oh, I think you've got to follow GSG. Turn off for now, you legends. The developers there, folks, coming by. Supporting the content creation people who love their game. What's the scout's main job? To run off and fuck, fuck about, basically. Uh, no, the, the scout can be... He can be multiple things. He, he has, like, a zip line. Kind of like what I've got, but he's actually got a gun that can shoot him to places, so to speak. Uh, he's got uh, flares that he can light up caverns, to which we haven't seen any, I don't think, in this game. Uh, and, yeah, he can kite enemies, so if... Let's say all of us went down and the scout was alive, he could... With his zip line, sk kite enemies. Do you know what kite means? Basically get enemies to follow you, uh, get the aggro on you. And then he could zip back quickly and revive the team. He's a very... One of the... It's not hard to play, but to be good with him, you have to have sort of quick reactions and knowledge. He can unlock basically a sniper rifle as well, which does high damage, but it can't be sort of spammed because it's got relatively low ammo compared to the other things. Oh, hello. Just realised that we need a nice old zip line there. Uh, don't you have all the flares? Uh, the scout does have the flare gun, which ideally he should be using nicely. There you go, there we go. He's actually used them. Very nice, scout. Just to light up the area. Oh, nice. Nice bit of axage going on there, Kana. Nicely done. Well. Okay, we've got the secondary objective. Uh, some bonus things here as well. Bonus gems that can be found around the world. This is used for unlocking weapon upgrades and your cosmetics for the dwarfs. So it's always, it's always worth having a look around and analysing what's in the procedurally generated caves. You never know what you might find. Hey, there goes the volcanoes. I've got one <laughs> magmite. Is it magmite? To dispatch there. Bonus gold as well. Who's that up there? That's the scout. He's actually zipping about, getting the things, finally. Uh, is it the scout's responsibility to get in lots of trouble for the rest of the team to sort out? It, it depends. He's, he's clues in the name a little bit to scout ahead, although he shouldn't. He shouldn't really go tremendously far. It's mainly his flares and uh, getting up onto engineered platforms like this one. So the engineer would shoot his, what I call, burgers... Oh, we've got a dynamic cavern forming here. It is the magma core after all. Oh, God almighty. Keep up the fire. Come on. Yeah, it's it's up to the scout to zip up to these engineer platforms. Because obviously we can't get up there. So he would zip up. Collect the gems. Whoa. What the fuck's that? Oh, the resupply pod has gone down into the world. What the hell? I remember that glitch. I haven't seen that for ages. We had that last time I played, I think. Sorry, just catching up on your chat there. Oh, as I get blown up. Right, we're all good. I think I'm going to need to resupply again. I'm about to be blown up. No. I can hear Explodey Boys. I think Passy needs that ammo, actually, but we've got two here. Hang on. Uh, such is cu customary with... Uh, voxel based games there's bound to be some glitches sort of clipping through the floor there we've got full ammo it's all looking a bit hairy here are we ready RDY 
We've got all of the bonus stuff. Probably just looking for some bonus things. When do I plan to stream nights? Probably on Tuesday, Tobex. Probably on Tuesday, my old son. Right, we are ready to go. Smooth as always, team. So where depend oh, hang on. What is happening here? We're all good. Sometimes there's like an odd little spider boy who comes up and tries to nibble our nibble our ankles. But now we wait for the extract pod to drop. And more than likely, our boy Kana here will drill us a tunnel directly to where we've got to go. Case in point. Rather than traipse back through the caves, we don't want to do shit like that, do we? No, no, no. Hello, boys. Don't worry about it. I'm here. I'm on the vanguard. Oh, no, vanguard's on the front, isn't it? What's the rear? The rear echelon sort of defense. That's what we're doing here as the gunner. Making sure no horrible buys. We've got the engineer's turret as well. Very cool looking, by the way. Get a sticky grenade out. Oh, I need to put my cluster grenades back on. That's what I need to do. I forgot to do that. Whoa. That looks like a bit of a breach cutter going on. Let's get to it. Let's get out of here. So we're making our own tunnels, making our own luck. Might as well reload. It's quiet. The rear guard. Yes, that's us. And hello, Infamous. Thank you all for joining us with Deep Rock. Oh, a very underappreciated gem. I'm about to go down if uh, I'm not careful. Let me get my shield down. Also, I've got a very itchy nose at the minute. Oh, it's an oppressor. That is not good. Oh, can we shoot his face or is it literally just his weak spot? Oh, just let me in. <laughs> I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Nicely done. So, yeah, a very action-packed game here. That was Hazard 4, by the way. We can go up to 5. You imagine what that's like. More spawns. Uh, I'm not sure of the other sort of debuffs you get for difficulty. I think it is literally just amount of enemies. Is the game very demanding hardware-wise? Uh, no, not at all. It's Even though it's stylized looking, it, it requires a, a decent system. But I'm running it on high. And bearing in mind, uh, a game like this, sh I should see a little bit of a difference when I stream it because streaming takes CPU power, GPU power, but I'm noticing no difference. Maybe slightly less frames. I'm getting about 90, 100, especially in this level, but you should run it. Holy cow, you're dwarfs. Oh, of course you wouldn't have seen it, Lily, would you? Yeah, we're all dwarfs as well. How <laughs> about some beer? Yeah, I think we're going to need some beer after that. That was quite a tough one at the Magma Core. Oh, you'll like this one, Lily. It, it kind of is like Risk of Rain, but there's no sort of... It's it's not specifically a rogue like it is basically per mission. Oh, yes, we can have a little bit of a dance as well. Let's play a different song. Gotta say, you're doing better than I thought. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that rusty. Told you, Lily. Get it on the old watch list. You, you will not be disappointed by this game. What did I say? Watch list. Wish list. Watch list. You know what I mean. Right, have you got me some actually good beer this time? Malt rock beer. Oh. Rock. Thank you, thank you Kana. Rock and stone to the bone. Oh, I like the little foam dwarf. <laughs> Is this some of that crafted beer? What the... F Oh shit! <laughs> what the hell, man? Four player cop, it is indeed. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, can we dance as giants? Oh, that's fab. That's wild. Let me get the animation we all want. Oh, I'm too big to play it again. Oh no, I broke it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah. Oh. Well. Ripped the left beer. Scout isn't taking it. The scout's not taking it. Oh, what a load. What a shit bag. He is now. Oh, he's got it, is he? Oh, we got. Oh, it's the same scout again. <laughs> so, despite the game being very busy, it's also got a lot of humour. The the sort of um, mission control guy is quite funny as well. Like if you was to, I think, if you listen. He, he normally sort of says stuff like, oh, Stop it, you bastard. 
and there's various things. Whatever you do. It's, it's very sort of laced with stuff like that, this game. <laughs> right, we need to do another assignment mission here. Where is... Okay, that's the one I need to do. For me, salvage mission, back on Magma Core again, unfortunately. Oh dear. <laughs> well, here we go again. Oh shit, here we go again. Yeah, yeah let's get to it. Ooh.